if Arsenal don't win the league this season, is it a failure or is it progress? It's progress. And I mean, uh, last year we finished fifth. And, um, you know, this year we've been top for most of the season and we've been pushing, you know, you know, we, we're the only sort of challengers to Man City. Everybody else is, is miles off. So, no, I mean, I saw that debate yesterday with uh, Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank and Roy Keane and Gary Neville and... You know, for once, Gary Neville was chatting a lot of sense, right? I know he's been a bit on Arsenal fans this year, but I thought he was spot on. It's a bit of a wobble yesterday. And, um, no, of course it's not disastrous. Disastrous, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, is Chelsea. That's what's disastrous. But, no, um, I, I feel that, um, you know, we've been brilliant this season and it's a little bit of a wobble, you know what I mean? Uh, you want to put a positive on it. So, last nine games we've played, you know, um, we've won seven, drawn two, you know? Points dropped yesterday, but I think the boys just got to dust themselves down and just look forward to the game on Friday against Southampton. And then if we can get a positive result after that, we go to City and nothing's really changed. We've got to get some sort of result at Manchester City. What did you make of Mikel Arteta's comments afterwards? We talked about his worry was they just didn't quite manage the game given the dominance and the, the impressive football and the scoreline in, in the early part of the match. Well, I agree. You know, I mean, I was at the game and... Um, it was so unbelievably easy when we were tuning up. I was sort of in my head thinking, oh, we can get stuck into the Man City goal difference. But maybe the players are thinking that as well. A little bit of complacency and we let them back in. And even then we missed the penalty. You know, it happens. Um, but yeah, we should have managed that situation better. I mean, you go 2 nil up two weeks in a row, you've got to see at least one of them home. You know what I mean? And I think... Uh, the players will be really, really disappointed. But I love the way that the fans yesterday at the game, they stuck behind them. You know, I think, you know, we've, we've been coming under a lot of pressure today as fans, from opposition fans, you know, saying we're going to crumble and all this. But that shows how far we've come, you know, because last year they weren't even bothering us, you know, right? But, you know, the, we are the team at the moment that are still at the top of the table and we're going to push all the way for this. And I think the players, you know, I heard Martin Odegaard in his uh, interview afterwards, and he's saying the same thing. We, you know, we, we're still going to push for this, and everybody's still behind the team. And um, I'm proud of what the team's been doing this season. You know, um, Manchester City. You know, they're they're a top team. They've added to it. They've brought in Haaland, who's like the best striker at the moment in European football, and we're still above them at the moment. So we've got to be proud of what we're doing this season. What do you see when you look at the, the running of each team? Would you rather have cities? Would you rather have Arsenal's? I'd say their running's a, a little bit easier than ours because, um, you know, we've got to go away to Newcastle as well, which is, a, which is a very tough game. But they've also got to go away to Brighton, who have been playing really, really well. You know, it's, it's kind of even. I think a lot of it does now, which I know you guys on Sky will be happy with, comes down to that game against Man City. I think we've got to go there and do something. I, I think, you know, when you look at... Um, title winning teams down the year for Arsenal down the years for Arsenal we've been to Old Trafford and won leagues we've been to Tottenham and won leagues we've you know we, we've been to Anfield 89 when we had to win on the last game of the season by two clear goals and we've done that maybe this is one of those years where we've got to go and get like a statement win somewhere that no one's expecting us to do you know what I mean and you know obviously our record at Manchester City has been really really poor but you can't write off this team and say that we can't get there and go there and get a result. So it's still all to play for, you know. By no way is it a disaster. <laughs> I couldn't believe that when I heard Jimmy Floyd Hasselbeck saying that yesterday. And, you know, this has been a great season for Arsenal, you know, regardless. But we want to win the thing. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not caving in. We're not bottling it. I keep hearing this word, bottling it. You know what I mean? Did Man City bottle it, bottle it when they went and drew at Nottingham Forest? Did they bottle it? You know, come on, there's some of the talk is a bit, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. I, I suppose you need some luck as well, the likes of Zinchenko, Saliba, players you've missed in, in yeah. recent games with injury. Definitely. I think Saliba, I was, I was looking at and thinking that could be quite a big miss. Is that why we're not maybe managing those games as well as we have? Because you've got to remember that partnership of Saliba and Gabriel has basically been all season, that has been a partnership. And then over the last few games, despite Rob Holding, by the way, playing well, I don't think he's done badly but it has disturbed that little partnership. So could that be a reason we're not sort of seeing out some of those games? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to, to be honest, I don't want to make too many excuses. I do feel that yesterday's game, we should have sorted that out. That's, there's no, and I understand, you know, why some people will be saying, oh, cracks or whatever, because that one we should have saw out and we two weeks in a row, 
you know, we, you know, we've let a two-goal lead slip, but there's still many, many things to play for. It's like it is not a disaster.